morning y'all backing out of my driveway right now it has been a few days since i've seen you we uh had some family in and spending some time with them so laid off the antelope hunting for about a week but here we are taking off we got about two two and a half hours so we're gonna go jump in the blind. It'd probably be around, I'm gonna say, it's gonna be around 10.30 when we get in the blind. But uh, I'm gonna do my best to uh, set all day. Oh, there's some deer right here by my house. Right there. That's a beautiful way to start the morning. But anyway, stay with us. That'll be a good time. I'd love to get over there this evening. And uh, there's one I call double prong. He's got one uh, cool prong on one side. The other side is not an actual prong. It's different. His, his horn is really thick, and then he has two little bumps on it, uh, kind of up high. So I'd love to, love to get him. He would go on the wall for sure. met up with Mr. Earl and uh, he um, had went out and checked my blind made sure it was still still in the location so going right now I got about probably about 30 minutes and I'll jump in the blind uh, it's probably about 9.15 or so I think I'll be situated in the blind by 10 o'clock and uh, man I'm going to sit all day if I can see what see what happens I'm debating whether or not to put my decoy out um, I put my decoy out the first couple of days I hunted antelope responded great to it the only problem is is I didn't um, I wasn't able to shoot them and they got right up to my decoy and saw that it wasn't real obviously when they stand right beside it and so then they kind of you know spooked off but anyhow we'll see I'm gonna, I'm gonna just see, think about it a little bit more between now and the blind. But here we go. Let's go jump in the blind. Well, this is August 28th, and I just got in the blind. Let me just tell you the current situation. So, apparently, They've gotten a lot of rain the last two days. Matter of fact, it looks to me like it was raining here at daylight. Still really muddy, mud puddles everywhere. I'm sure that when you're hunting water for antelope, that's not the prime scenario, but here we are. No tracks around the water hole at all. There it is. No tracks around the water hole. So at least I'm under no illusions. But we're gonna stay positive. It is warming up. It's getting, it's already getting really hot. I don't know how antelope do. I don't know if antelope would rather drink out of a clear tank as opposed to a really muddy mud hole. I need to get a Lord to bless me today because it's probably not leaning in my favor too much but here we go let's see what happens bunch of antelope guys and believe it or not they are they are running from a bear I don't know what But I never even thought there'd have been a bear out here.
Then the antelope came all the way across, came to the tank, got a drink, settled down, and went over here to the right, so. <laughs> okay, y'all, um, saw 36 yesterday, total. Started glassing this morning. Just spotted the first seven. I think one of them is a buck. I can't tell for sure. Might have to get a little closer. So let's go. Look at that, guys. About 15 antelope right there. I think I see a little buck. I'm going to check it out. All right, y'all. There is a big one in the bunch. There he is. Okay, we can put on a stalk. That is what you don't want to see out here. Ooh. Well, I'm going to try to self-film this. Let's see what happens. Pretty good buck, though. So, let's see. Well, guys, my setup didn't work. There they go. Well, you can barely see a bunch of little white dots going across there. They did not like my decoy. But I guess the one thing that'll cheer you up when you blow a stalk There's a deer shed laying right beside you. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I knew there had to be a deer here and there. Been cool if he wouldn't have broke off. Well, I just get back to my truck and I look. And there's 10 antelope going across right there. And I hate to go bump them because they're headed like they're going to that water hole. So I think I'm going to let them cross the road. And then I'm going to go because I was going to get in the blind. So here we go. So I just flew around here and just got in the blind. And I was like, Lord, please just let them stay behind that hill or whatever until I get in the blind and get set up. So... I'm just kind of trusting that the good Lord might might kind of help me out on this deal and send them my way. I would sure like to get a buck on the ground today. Archery season for elk opens here in a few days, and I'm going to be filming for Stephen Lane. So it's going to be few and far between when I get to come over here and hunt. So it would be great if it would happen today, so stay with us. I see six antelope way out. It's not that other group. This group is coming from right to left. The other group should be coming through that same draw, but from the left to right. So let's see what happens. But I just spot them. I ain't been in here five minutes. Oh my gosh, y'all, I can't even believe this. A biker came through and that first group 
starts coming, I look over and the whole rest of that other group is headed this way. Let's see what happens. They're easing this way, y'all. <laughs> little by little, some of them, right about the time that I saw all of them, a bicycler came through and the first group was coming to me and turned back. But it looks like the second group is, is moving this way. So let's just see what happens, man. Hopefully, hopefully. Spotted some more antelope. I'm gonna try to make a stop. Had to wait till they went over the hill. But here we go. First ever antelope shed for me. Awesome. So after finding my first antelope shed, I got back in my truck and decided I would go back to grandma's house, load up all of my equipment, and head home. As I was going out this two track, I looked out my window and a buck was standing 30 yards away. I quickly put on my GoPro and well just watch as this craziness unfolds. I'm trying to get outside of my truck. It is legal to shoot from this two track. I'm trying to range the antelope somewhere in the middle of all this. I think when I drew my bow, I must have bumped my camera and moved it to the right. Watch this unfold. I knew the shot was good. I watched the antelope fall. Here's a dust cloud kicking up as he hit the ground. I just killed an antelope. I hope I got that on my camera. I turned it on. 47 yards. Smoked him. As you can see here in this frame, my camera has been knocked sideways. I'm trying to adjust it, but as you know, the damage was already done. Oh, oh yeah, guys. The old prime done the job. So I was having to head back and uh, easing out of this two track. And this buck is just standing 30 yards off the road. Turn on my GoPro, I hope I got it good for you guys. Turn on my GoPro and smoked him. He was at 47 yards by the time I shot him. 
watched him fall. I'm still out of breath. I can't even believe that just happened. We got my first antelope. Yes, sir, Ramsack Nation, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Prime archery. My son, my son started shooting uh, some QADs this year. And uh, so I joined him and man, it done the job right there, y'all. Look at that, man. Look at that. Yes, sir. Got everything loaded up. My buck got him iced down. Gonna go straight to the taxidermist. But stay in grandma's house. Good times. Leaving down north, Colorado. Man, it's been a great hunt. Feels good to have my first ever antelope in the back of the truck. Just caught my taxidermist. Heading straight there now. So, been a fun time. First antelope hunt in the books. 2023. Next year, hopefully, Stephen Lane will draw this tag. But uh, until next time, 